doing? We're leaping. Woo, Mawaka! Uh, Pink Bear, you okay? Yeah, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'll walk it off, walk it off, walk it off. Okay, you guys take a break and uh, we'll find out <clears throat> what in the world is a leap year. Isn't it about leaping? Uh, it's, well, let's just read. What is time? Time is how long something takes. Time is measured in seconds, minutes, hours, days, and years. We use clocks and watches to tell time, or sometimes our telephones. And uh, one hour has 60 minutes, and one minute has 60 seconds. Jake here, hello Jake, he has a new watch and he wears it every day. His watch says it is 345. What is a day? Okay. The earth spins constantly. A day is how long it takes to spin around one time. And there are 24 hours in a day. Why aren't we dizzy? Oh, all this spinning. Uh, each day starts at midnight. Midnight is at 12 a.m. The middle of the day is noon. Noon is at 12 p.m. Ryan here. Hey, Ryan. Ryan wakes up at 7 a.m. and goes to bed at 8.30 p.m. Those are good school hours. Now, we're moving on to what is a year. The Earth moves around the sun. A year is how long it takes to go around one whole time. Wow, that's a long trip. It sure is. You can use a calendar to measure a year. Uh, one year has the 12 months in it. You know the 12 months. And one month has about four weeks. One week has seven days. This would all sound kind of familiar, right? Lily here loves to dance. She has ballet class three days each week, and she writes it on her calendar. What is a decade? Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's 10 years. That's right. And it's often called by its first year. The 1990s is a decade. It's a time from 1990 to 2000. Now, Ethan's grandpa here, hey, Ethan's grandpa, is 70 years old. So he has lived for, I know, I know, I know this, I know this. How many, Red Bear? For seven decades. Oh, wow. hey, Red Bear is getting very good at the math. I've been studying. What is a century? A century is, do you know? I haven't gotten to centuries yet, sorry. Okay, well you're gonna learn right now. A century is a hundred years. The United States turned a hundred years old in 1876. There was a huge fair in Philadelphia and it was called the Centennial Exposition. The Centennial Expo, Centennial means a hundred. Uh, Ella here, hello Ella. She listens to a phonograph. That's an old timey record player and record players were way before CDs, way before the cloud. But see right there, that's an old fashioned record. And that is more than a century old. That was, um, you know, you couldn't really take it to school, for example, or, you know, couldn't, you couldn't have ear, earbuds in your ear for that one. It's a little too big to carry around. What is a millennium? Well, I don't know this one either, but I'm guessing it's pretty big because we keep growing. That is correct. A millennium is 1,000 years. Very few things last that long. The Tower of London, however, is almost a millennium old. It was built in 1078. Oof, if those walls could talk. The third millennium began in 2000. Luke's family here, hey Luke's family, they had a big party and they wore colorful hats because they are colorful people. What is an eon? I know what an eon is. Oh, what is it? It's how long it takes Pink Bear to get ready to go to school. Ha <laughs> ha Hey, that's not funny. Not funny. No. An eon is one billion years. Scientists use eons to measure the time since Earth began. Earth is four and one half eons old. Ha <laughs> ha. That's a tough birthday present to buy for. What do you get the world that has a, a billion and a half eons old, huh? What do you get them, ha huh? ha What do they not have, ha <laughs> uh, Green Bear, you're getting a little out of control. Mia, right here, hey Mia, learns about dinosaurs. They lived a very long time ago, but it was the same eon we live in now. Isn't that incredible? So we live in the same eon as dinosaurs. Not the same century, not the same decade, not the same year, not the same month, certainly not the same day, but the same eon. What 
is a fortnight. Now, this one we hear, this, this is a, a word that we hear a lot when we read about uh, American history because they used to use this all the time. A fortnight is 14 days. That's it. Just two weeks. You don't hear it used very much in the U.S. anymore. Um, but they also use it in astronomy. It's the time between a full moon and a new moon. Oh, I actually didn't know that. A full moon looks completely round. A new moon is when you can't see the, new, the moon at all. Now, for example, this night right here, that's a full moon. Owen here, hey Owen, counts ahead 14 days. Do, 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 that's when there will be a new moon. It will be extra dark that night. Oof, Owen must be strong carrying that giant calendar. Now, at last, what is a leap year? Well, you surely kept us waiting a long time for this. Oh my gosh, these bears. A leap year has one extra day. It happens every four years. A regular year, now this is critical right here. A regular year has 365 days. Regular year. A leap year has 366 days. And that extra day is always February 29th. And that is called leap day. Woo! Um, Pink Bear, I'm oh, gonna move you out of there. Sorry. Emily here. Hey, Emily. She was born on leap day. So she usually celebrates her birthday on February 28th, the day before. And now on a leap year, she can celebrate it on her real birthday. Or she can pretend she only has a birthday every four years and only be 25% of her age. Fun facts. About one out of every 1,500 people is born on leap day. The sundial was one of the first kinds of clocks that sit on the ground. People would put rocks and things like that. Well, all kinds of interesting fun facts, but I think that I have filled your brain with enough information for one day. What do you guys think? You guys, you're out of control. Ha <laughs> ha, that's what we do. We're bears. We're out of control. Yeah, that's our specialty. We love to leap and we love to be out of control and kind of take over kid time, story time sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Also, what are we going to do with that extra day? I mean, we have a whole extra day on leap day, February 29th. What do you want to do? Get into trouble. No, great bear. You're always getting us into trouble. <laughs> okay, what do you want to do? Oh, uh, baby, uh, make cookies? Oh, okay, that sounds good, too. We'll make cookies. Oh, oh, wait, did somebody say cookies? I want to do cookies. Cookies, leap day cookies, wow! Hey, kid, I hope you enjoyed learning exactly what a leap year is all about, and maybe you can make special plans to do something with a whole extra day of living. Yeah, I mean, you don't get an extra day every day. No, that's pretty special. I think we should do something special. Yeah, you should do something cool and fun. And, oh, you know, we really don't have many ideas besides eating and getting into trouble. So if you have any ideas for what to do with our extra day on leap day, uh, do you mind leaving it in the comment section? Yeah, yeah, and then the storyteller can read it to us. Yeah, because she doesn't let us have our own account yet. All right, that's a great idea. Give us your ideas and we can figure out what to do on leap day. I need to do something to keep these guys entertained. <laughs> See you next time.